feet push against the hard plastic pedals of my metallic purple bicycle with clean white tires. I'm about five years old, and like any young kid, I'm determined and also underprepared. I'm going so fast because momentum is the only way I know how to keep my balance. So when my kids slip from the pedal's grip, I crash. I fly from the seat and slide across the asphalt. The skin on my knee peeled back. It hurts. I know it hurts. But I sit up and stare into the plasma and blood and pick pieces of street from my knee. Does it hurt? I remember this moment very clearly. I ask myself, does it hurt? How do you know? What if this only hurts because they told you this is what pain feels like? What if this feels good? I smile. That was the moment I discovered that I am the creator of my own reality. We are all the creators of our own realities. The most recent global digital report tells us that as of October 2020, more than 4 billion people, or 53% of the world's population, are using social media. That means that more than half of us in existence have and engage in an entirely digital universe of our own making. We know that social media operates on algorithms. These algorithms dictate what kind of content, users, and advertisements that we see. And we know that our actions affect these algorithms. Ever look something up on the internet one time and suddenly it's across all of your social media feeds? What if for the sake of these next few minutes, we could consider this applicable to the entire universe? considering all time, space, and matter as a whole? Is there a set of rules we can use to intentionally decide what shows up in our day-to-day -day feeds? Can we influence or hack the universe's algorithm to change our lives and create the reality that we truly want? Early in my journey as an entrepreneur, when there is nothing left in my pantry, I reach for an expired can of clam chowder soup. Now I know that creamy expired anything is not good, but my stomach groans. I ask myself, is this really what it's like to be alive? I'm broke, a starving artist. I'm too young, a struggling business owner. I'm an outcast. I don't belong. I don't deserve it. The universe's algorithm works in any direction. I called and believed myself to be a starving artist for so long and so hard that I created a reality in which I was truly a starving artist. Starve or expired clam chowder soup? Turns out, no matter what it is, you get more of what you think about. What stories do you tell yourself? Analyze your core beliefs. Are they limiting you or are they serving you? What lies do you tell yourself? We've established the first rule of the universe's algorithm. You get more of what you think about. You create your world, your universe, everything around you is a product of how you choose to interact with your internal and external universes. To master either, you must master both. The next rule of the universe is gratitude. Gratitude is like clicking on an advertisement in your social media feed. You're automatically subscribed, and you're going to see a lot more of that thing. It's like telling the universe, fuck yes, this is exactly what I want, please give me more of it, thank you. Express your gratitude often for your friends, your family, your coffee, everything you enjoy. Let the universe know it. Say it in your head, speak it out loud, you could even write it down. Whatever the way, let the universe know exactly what you want. And most importantly, this applies to yourself. You cannot treat the world kindly, but treat yourself poorly. Express gratitude for yourself. What has been possible in your life because of you? What do you love about yourself? If you can't find it, create it. Which leads me to the third and final rule of hacking the universe's algorithm, action. While it's possible to get results with focused concentration and gratitude alone, 
action is the true catalyst for momentum. And it doesn't have to be big, grand gestures and announcements. Take small steps every day, every moment you can. Move in the direction of the life you want to create and the person you want to become. I am now soaking in the turquoise steam from the natural hot springs. I drink fresh lattes daily in my own living room, in my very own condo. I have fulfilling relationships and a community of support that I used to only dream of. I ask myself, is this really what it's like to be alive? You are the creator of your own reality. You get more of what you think about. So think with intention. Practice gratitude to clearly tell the universe what it is you want. And finally, act. Who will you be? How will you move through the world? What kind of reality will you create for yourself? Thank you.